Hello, welcome to Excel Tips by the HR Direct. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Excel's if formula to calculate sales commission using two types of sales commission plan. The tiered commission plan and the progressive commission plan. In the tiered commission plan, the higher commission rate applies to the total sales rather than but certain tier. In the progressive commission plan, the higher commission rate applies only to a certain tier rather than to the total sales. In this example, the tiered commission plan pays out more commission than the progressive commission plan at all levels of the sales. So you can see, for example, Kathy, she makes 9,000 sales using the tiered commission plan, which applies 9,000 is under this tier. So she gets 8%. So 8% times the entire 9,000, she gets $720 commission. But in a progressive commission plan, if Katie makes 9,000, the first zero to 3,000, she don't get any commission rate. But the 3,000 to 6,000, she gets 5,000 commission rate. A 5% commission rate, which is 6,000 minus 3,000 times 5% is 150. Then the remainder $3,000 she gets only the remainder $3,000 after minusing of this uh, $6,000. She gets the, it applies the 8% commission, right? So only 9,000 minus 6,000 times 8%. So she gets $390. Let's start with example one. So in the tiered commission, the higher commission rate applies to the total sales rather than to a certain tier. So the table on my left here is the tiered commission rate. For sales, that is between zero to $3,000, the staff gets 0% commission for the total sales. If the staff, sales staff achieve between 3,000 to 6,000 sales, the sales staff will get 5% commission for the total sales. If the staff achieves above $6,000 sales, for example, $9,000 sales, the sales staff will get 8% for the total, the entire $9,000 sales. Now, Let's write an Excel formula to calculate the commission using the IF formula. So what is the IF formula? The IF formula requires a logical, logical test first. So if I write the IF formula here, equals IF, open bracket. So here, the IF formula requires a logical test first. And if the logical test is true, it gives you this, this value. If it's false, it will give you this value. Okay, now let's move here. I'm going to use a, a less than coupled with the if formula. So if I were to use this uh, less than formula, we need to start off with the lowest value first when we're using less than in an E formula. This formula, so for Andy who makes a sales of 2,500, the commission can be manually calculated using this formula because when he makes $2,500 sales, his commission rate falls under this category, 0 to 3,000, which is 0%. So, 2,005 
times zero percent is zero. So he's, he isn't getting any commission. If we were to use the E formula, it's written like this. So if H7, which is the sales, if it sales at, at, at sell H7 here, is less than, all right, let me, okay, back again, if he sales at H7 is less than 3,000, he gets 0%. So that's how it, if he sales is less than or equals to 3,000, it is 0%. He gets zero commission. So here is zero. So next, Bernard gets achieves six thousand dollars sales. If I were to calculate his sales commission manually, it is this formula. So six because six thousand falls into this category above three thousand to six thousand, he gets five percent commission. So six thousand times five percent is three hundred dollars. So what is the commission formula? So this is the commission formula. So how to interpret this? So if H8, which is his sales, is less than or equals to 3,000, he gets zero commission, right? But if this is not the case, I will again start with the if condition here, right? So if his sales is less than or equals to 6,000, then you take his entire sales H, in cell H8, multiply by 5%, because it's a force under this, this category, 5%. Right? So 6,000, it falls under this category, less than 6,000, you multiply by 5%, and you get $300, which is the same as how it is when I manually calculate it. So next, for Katie, Katie achieved a sales of $9,000. Her sales commission in this tier commission plan, she will be under, for $9,000 is above $6,000. So she's eligible for the 8% commission. So the formula is 9,000 times 8%, which is calculated here. So how do you write the E formula? So it becomes longer. So this formula, the E formula is written like this. If H9, which is here, is less than 3,000, all right, the commission is zero, right? Less than 3,000 is zero. Okay, if that is not the case, I will again start with the if condition. If the sales is less than or equals to 6,000, then you take the sales figure times 5%. All right? Multiply by 5%. If that is not the case, also not the case, that means if it's more than 6,000, then you take the sales, the H9 here, multiply by 8%. And you get 720, which is the same as here. All right? So this is the, the formula to use, right? These are all incomplete formulas. This is the full formula. So let me copy this formula and paste it here, paste it here. All right. So I've taught you how to use the, how to calculate, uh, how to uh, calculate sales commission using the E formula for a tiered commission plan. All right. So now I have used hard coded numbers here, 3,000, 6,000, all this. Instead of using hard-coded values like 3,000, 6,000, 5%, 8 percent, you can make your formula more dynamic by referencing them per cell. For example, we can change the 3,000. Let's delete it. 3,000 is here, right? Delete it, and I click this cell. All right? And then the 6,000, let's reference it to here and the five percent let's reference it to here and the eight percent reference it to here and then hit enter all right now you notice that 
my commission here, it the numbers they change. All right, even I drag it down. Oops. Let's uh let me reverse it. Um okay, so if you if you notice here, all right, this formula it did not uh the number is still zero commission, all right. So but when I change this number to two thousand dollars below this amount, for example, $2,000. You'll notice that my commission changes accordingly. It has become dynamic. All right. I could have written the formulas by referencing it to the cells, but it would be easier for you to understand when I write the formula with hard-coded values and then change it to reference a cell. All right. So same thing here. I can change this 3,000 um, to reference the cell here, right? And this uh, to reference the cell here, 5% to reference the cell here, and this to reference the cell here, right? So if you notice, now I've referenced the cell here. If I change this to 10%, this will change. Right, so yes, change. Okay, let me set the value back. And this is three thousand. All right. Let's move on to example two. Progressive commission plan. In a progressive commission plan, the higher sales commission rate only applies to a certain year. To this tier, for example, eight percent only applies to revenue at above six thousand. Five percent only applies to revenue at three to six percent. Whereas in the gate commission, the eight percent applies to entire six percent, for example. All right. So a progressive commission, the higher the sales commission rate, I repeat, only applies to a certain tier. All right. Progressive sales commission is similar to progressive tax, whereby the tax rate increases as the taxable income increase. So here, as the sales increase, the, the commission tax rate increases. So again, uh, the table on my left here is the progressive sales income tax. No, sorry, progressive sales commission rate. So for sales that is between here, 0 to 3,000, the staff gets 0% commission for this year. And for sales that is above 3,000, 6,000, the sales staff get 5% commission for this tier. All right. So for the sales between this amount. And for sales that is above 6,000, the sales staff get 8% commission for this tier. So for, for only sales that is above 6,000, you get 8%. Anything less, you get. Like for example, um, 5% you will get, if your sales is 5%, you get 5% under the 5% commission rate. All right, now let's look at the formula. So, ND key achieved 2,500 sales. The commission can be manually calculated using this formula because 2005 falls under the first year, zero commission rate. So 2005 and 0%, it gets zero commission. So if I were to type, this is the manual formula. So if I were to type in the E formula, it will be this. And how do I read this? This means that if my sales is less than sales in H4, Right, sell H4 here, H14. Right, so if my sales is less than or equals to 3000, the commission is zero. So 2005 is less than 3000, so the commission is zero. 
Next, Bernard achieved a sales of 6,000. So for 6,000, if I were to calculate the sales manually, it would be 6,000 minus 3,000, all right, times 5%. And this is $150. This is the E formula. If I were to use the E formula, so how do you read this? This means that if H15, which is this cell, $6,000 there, all right? If H15 is less than or equals to 3,000, the commission is zero. If this cell, the net sales is less than or equals to 6,000, then you take Bernard sales, which is 6,000 minus 3,000 times 5%. And the amount is 150. All right. Next, Katie. So Katie achieved a sales of 9,000. The commission rate, this is the formula to manually calculate her, her commission rate. So her first 3,000 is zero. The next, when for 6,000, you need to 6,000 minus 3,000 times 5%. And only the amount that is above 6,000, you times 8%. And you will get, let me see, uh, equals 150 plus 240 is 390. So, this is my typo error. Here should be 390, right? Which is the same as my E formula here. Okay. Now, let's work out the E formula. So this is the E formula. So how do you read this E formula? If H16, which is this cell, is less than 3,000, 3, if Cathy sales is less than 3,000, the commission rate is zero. All right. If that is not the case, I will start again with the if. If my sales is less than or equals to 6,000, each additional sales above 3,000 gets 5% commission. So again, so but if that is not the case, then take 6,000 minus 300, no, sorry, 6,000 minus 3,000 times 5%. And then each additional sales above 6,000, all right, you multiply by 8%. So this is the formula. Then you close the bracket twi twice because you have two if, one if, two if. So you close the bra brackets twice and press enter. So this is the formula. It, it gets the same commission of $390 as when I calculate it manually. So now I, I hard coded the values here, 3,000 here, 6,000 here. So similarly, you can change them. You can make it dynamic by changing 3,000 or the 3,000 to this cell. Let's pick all the 3,000 and reference it to this cell, all right? And all the 6,000, I will reference it to this cell D15. So all the, all the 6,000, I will reference it to this. 6,000, reference it to this. And next, uh, the 5%, let's reference it to this cell. 5%, reference it to this cell. And the 8%, I will reference it to this cell. And then I hit enter. All right. So notice the figure is still 390. It doesn't change. All right. But 
I now if I were to change this cell to a uh, reference to the number here will change. For example, if I change this three thousand to hmm, let's put it as two thousand, you will notice this number will drop. You know, let's see. I put it as two thousand, so it increases. All right, because instead of uh no, let's put two thousand. Yep. So. I only need to hit 2,000 and the commission changes, all right? And just now I also reference the to this cell 5%. So if I were to change um, this to say 3%, it drops, all right? And now if I were to change this, I were to increase this percentage, this should increase. If I put this as ten percent, again my commission rate changes accordingly. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the HR Diary channel. Thank you.